So, und wenn ich hier ein paar Tage Pause mache, weiß ich jedes Mal nicht mehr, wo ich bin. Schön. Meine Toilette funktioniert wieder. Ich glaube, um die Uhrzeit habe ich lange nicht gespielt. So, for the record, normalerweise 22, 23 Uhr und jetzt ist es 13 Uhr. Nicht meine Zeit zum Spielen. Aber ich habe Bock gehabt. Und heute Abend wahrscheinlich keine Zeit. Nein! Ups. Ah, super. Das heißt, der... <lacht> der hat das wahrscheinlich wieder ein bisschen Spaß auf dem Klo. <lacht> Soweit mir das Spaß denn kann. So, ich glaube, die Frage hatten wir letztes Mal. Ja, machen wir das hier. Und jemand hat mich letztes daran erinnert, dass ich doch bitte mal meine Fähigkeiten benutzen sollte, die ich gefühlt erst drei, vier, fünf Mal benutzt habe. Gucken wir mal, welche wir haben. Ähm, Fernwaffenschaden. Ja, die ist doch okay. Die benutzen wir. Und die Punkte zum Verbessern, die behalten wir. Fertigkeit bereits erlangt. Und ausgerüstet. Dankeschön. Alles klar, viel Spaß beim Wäschewaschen. Ich habe halt irgendwie schon alles erledigt. Ich habe überhaupt nicht schlafen und habe heute früh schon alles gemacht. Was auch der Grund ist, wieso ich jetzt am Zocken bin und schon müde bin. Also Stream Elements ballert ja jetzt hier alles rein, was ich irgendwie mal hatte, ne? Aber okay. Dornstachelwerfer. Ne, da brauchen wir den grünen Glanz für. Das machen wir nicht. Die anderen habe ich nicht ausgerüstet. Das heißt, so wichtig sind die wahrscheinlich gerade nicht. Ja, dann lassen wir es. Dann lassen wir den Kikifax hier sein. Und ihr habt Spaß? Ja. Nein. Ihr macht komische Geräusche, wenn ich euch treffe. Genauso wie eine Kiste. Gut, weiter. Gehen wir zum Lager für und gucken mal, wo wir hin müssen. Äh. Ja, ich glaube, die Schnellreise hat sich erledigt. Da laufen wir hin. Oh, Kiste? Nein, nein, Kiste. Geh weg hier mit deinem... Nein! Ach, verdammt. Gut, Decker, ich muss Kiste. Äh, ich muss reden. Aloy, I'm glad you're here. This is Aroke, leader of Fall's Edge. So you've enlisted the Chief's champion in your dull-bladed efforts. You must be Cavo, then. My grandson. And a soldier trying to right his mistakes. Or trying to lure us into a trap. My scouts caught him. Sneaking around on the outskirts of the village. I wasn't sneaking around. I was coming to warn you. The rebels are planning an attack. They're going to send a machine straight through this village. I left my post when I realized what they were planning. You have to believe me. Where are the rebels now? They were hunting for the machine north of here. I, I can show you the way. The only thing you'll do is face trial by combat. You betrayed your clan. Your chief. Blood and Blades will decide your fate. I'll fight whoever you want after we stop the attack. Hmm. Why destroy this village? I thought Regala's fight was with Hikaru. 
Hikaru was a lowlander before he was chief. Unlike the Desert and Sky clans, we stand behind him without question. Fall's Edge is a strategic midpoint between the Grove and our capital on the coast. It's true. Our orders were to cut off Hikaru's support from the Lowland clan. But I thought that meant disrupting supply routes, not slaughtering an entire village. You said you defected after you found out about the attack. Why'd you change your mind? When I joined the rebels, I thought Regala was going to lead us into battle against our old enemy, the Karja. But all we've done is kill each other. And for what? Pride? Vengeance? So when my squad leader told us about the mission to destroy this village, I left my post. Don't believe his lies. Anyone who deserted the tribe to join Regala knew exactly what they were getting themselves into. Not everyone. Yeah, yeah, if Cavo yeah, yeah. is telling the truth, this whole village is in danger. We have to find and stop these rebels. The rebels built Admit a campfire north of the river, submission. near the cliffs. I can show you the way from there. Okay. Open it up or okay? No. I won't give him the chance to escape. The traitor stays here until his trial by combat. Then I invoke blood for blood. I will take Cavo's place until he returns. You're making a mistake, Chaplain. The clan needs your guidance, not the lies of this bare-armed boy. The right has been called. Cavo will go with Aloy. Then I'm going to. If the boy speaks truth, Und ich darf wieder regeln. my blade. If he lies, I'll run him through. I must make arrangements here first. Then I'll bring the boy to the meeting place. Fine. I'll see you there. Begib dich zum Lagerfeuer. So, das haben wir eh noch nicht entdeckt, also laufen wir dahin. Mit Laufen meine ich schwimmen und springen. Oh, da hätte ich mich drum kümmern müssen, ne? Gut, wir kommen erstmal so klar. Und damit meine ich, wir müssen erstmal so klar kommen. Ich habe nämlich keine Lust zurückzulaufen. Fire that Cavo mentioned should be nearby. What's taking so long? They should be here already. Uh. Someone's waiting ahead. But not Cavo or Roke. Who bin ich? Geh gern da lang, wo man nicht lang gehen sollte. Rebels. Friends of Cavo's? Gonna have to take them out to get to that campfire. Sind da noch mehr oder sind das nur die drei? Und wenn das nur die drei sind, dann... Ah, dann machen wir das. Wechseln wir jetzt mal die Waffe da oben aus. Was nehmen wir? Was nehmen wir? Schneiden der Jägerbogen. Dann nehmen wir mal den hier. Und 
Hm. Hm. Ups, und der ist nicht... Ja. Such mich doch. Bin's mich nicht. Ich bin nämlich im hohen Gras. Genau. Nein, hier ist nichts. Wollt ihr nicht herkommen? Ich hab Kick. Nein! Nein, nicht außen! Du sollst... Ey, sag mal... This could be a diversion. We should go back to our post. Nein. Du sollst herkommen. Ich will den nicht schon wieder umsonst aufgestellt haben. Jetzt aber. Ja, 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 ja. Dankeschön. Na komm, eine noch. Were these rebels waiting to ambush whoever showed up? Cavo has some explaining to do. Better wait at the campfire for him and Oroke. So, wo war der dritte? Da. Oh, danke schön extra für mich. Danke, 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 danke. Na, speichern, komm. Found a few of your friends when I got here, Cavo. You're not off to a great start. They must have been out on patrol. I swear on the ten, I didn't know they'd be here. What did I tell you? His lies are an open sore. Better we cauterize it now than let it fester. No! I'm telling the truth! Untie him. As you say. But this is a mistake. Yeah, yeah. And my weapon? If you think... Just give it to him, or okay? We need to get moving. Lead the way. Ganz unauffällig, Leute. Ganz unauffällig. Up this way. Where are you leading us? The rebels are stationed at the nearby oh, cliff falls. Treasure. I took this path when I left my post. 
The others won't be expecting anyone to come this way. Or they are, and will be skewered the moment we arrive. There's the Cliff Falls. And there's no one there, as I suspected. Let's just keep going. I don't like this. Kann sein, da kann ich doch direkt hoch. Happy. Und dann runter. Ja, warum führt er mich da hin? Okay. Ich dachte, da wäre was. Nimm mal wenigstens das hier mit. Where is everyone? No rebels, no machine. What did I say? Over there, by the falls. Blood of the dead. Das ist ein Schockfass. The village stands no chance. Ja, dann wechseln wir mal schnell zu Schockfallen aus, denn die müsste ich ja haben. Alles Schockfässer? Ruhefass. Na komm, der andere, der sollte da auch noch hinkommen. Ich hoffe, ich treffe von hier aus mit dem Bogen. Markieren wir die wenigstens mal. Wo ist der jetzt hin? Hier war doch noch einer hier hinter. Na egal. Ich hoffe, ich treffe damit. Äh. Äh. Ja, zu viel dazu. Dann war nur Fässer. Nein! Toll! Super! Ja, ist ganz toll. Mein Gott, bin ich gut hier. Das mit den Fässern können wir jetzt erstmal vergessen. Ich bin nämlich froh, wenn wir hier irgendwas treffen.
So, wo seid die anderen? Ja. überhaupt was. Wo bist du denn? Gut, dann halt die anders. nur rausfinden, wo die anderen sind. Komm, schieß nochmal. Looten wir erstmal den ganzen Platz hier. Ja, direkt hier unten. Ja, ist nie schlecht. Aber zu viel. Alles mit. Ups. So. Hier oben noch was. Wie kommen wir da hoch? Ich will noch nicht zu euch runter. Aber doch, da hinten. Ich muss ja da looten. nicht mit euch reden. Muss ja auch nervig sein, da nimmst du mit jemandem zusammen so ein Lager aus und der blutet erstmal jede Kleinigkeit. So, ich glaube, das große Ding haben wir auch noch nicht blutet. Genau. Oh, da liegt mir ganz viel... Die Beschädigung eines Rauchwassers erzeugt ein Tarngebiet. Gut. Hätten wir vorhin brauchen können, nicht jetzt. Da hinten? Was weiter weg? Nehmen wir die hinten ein. Na gut. Ist hier rechts noch was gewesen? Ne, sind die Typen. Ach, da unten liegt die Leiche. Und rechts unten noch was. Da überhaupt. Äh, wo war die? Ja, 
andere war... Wenn ich mir sicher bin, da war nichts Wichtiges drin. Und so ein kleines Lager. Nee. Und dann war das wahrscheinlich das kleine Lager, was ich da von weitem gesehen habe. Ah, dann gehen wir da jetzt hin. Hi, ich bin fertig. Cavo, du bist I'll be fine. What matters is the attack was stopped. Because of your warning. You saved many lives today. Come on. Let's get you back to Falls Edge. <coughs> I guess. I cracked some ribs, too. Go on ahead. I'll see him back to the village. Okay. I'll let Decca know what happened. Ich habe übrigens gesehen, wenn man über Twitch einen Shoutout macht, über die neue Shoutout-Funktion, dann kriegt derjenige, der äh, einen Shoutout bekommen hat, das auch später noch mit. Das heißt, dass die jetzt hier zum Beispiel, wer mir gefolgt ist oder einen Sub gemacht hat und zwischendrin sehe ich, dass Shadow für mich einen Shoutout gemacht hat. Das heißt, wenn der hier ist, werde ich mich bedanken. Da laufen wir hin. Ja. Na, Mäuschen? Also mein Hund kann echt aufdringlich sein. Wenn er gekrollt werden will, dann werde ich so lange angestupst, bis er Aufmerksamkeit kriegt. Mal so richtig penetrant gegen den Ellenbogen. <lacht> so, wo waren wir hier? Okay, wir dürfen einfach wieder zurück. Dann gehe ich jetzt zum anderen Lagerfeuer da vorne und gehe rein. Weil ich mir diese 50 Meter Laufwerk hier gerne erspare. Gott, ey, viel zu viel Witcher gezockt. Ich hier jedes Mal, wenn dieser Ladescreen kommt, den Sprecher vom Witcher-Ladescreen. Aus dem Weg. Ich würde hier gerne mal mit dem Architekten von dem Platz reden. Das ist ja der Horror. Wo ist mein Lager? War doch irgendwo hier. Hier ist die Bank. Hier, die, hier verkaufen wir erstmal. Oh Gott. So. Wir möchten kaufen meinen Schrott. Ja. Hm. Sucherjägerbogen. Er erteilt Schaden gegen niedergeschlagene Gegner und kann verbessert werden, sodass fortgeschrissene Frostjägerpfeile damit eingesetzt werden können. Niedergeschlagene Gegner. Nee. Da muss ich erst mit dem anderen vorarbeiten. Nee, 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 nee. So, wie sieht das aus? Bitte laden Sie. Hm. Berittene Bogenschütze. Effiziente Reparatur, Maschinengesundheit. Nee, nee. Ah, nee. Rohstoffe könnten wir gebrauchen, aber... 
Ne, nee, dann gehen wir erstmal zur Kiste und gucken, ob wir vielleicht noch welche haben. Aufrüsten. Ah, hier gibt es immer so viel zu tun. So viel zu tun. So, kleiner Funfact. Meine CPU ist heute angekommen. Mainboard habe ich bestellt. Jetzt brauche ich nur noch RAM und eine SSD. Und die werde ich heute Abend oder morgen früh bestellen. Dann drücke ich die Daumen, dass das Mainboard schon neueres BIOS drauf hat. Ansonsten läuft die CPU nicht. Kurz Distanzmaschinenteile. Nee. Nee. Ach, mal Munition können wir herstellen. Also die Ladezeiten stören mich bei der PS4 ja nicht wirklich, aber die Ladezeiten hier, wenn ich so, so ein einfaches Menü öffne, die, die stören dann schon. So, die Fallen brauchen wir nicht. Aber Munition brauchen wir. Mal gucken, was das hier machen wir. Zwei. Reicht. Echohülse und Maschinenmuskel. Die kaufe ich gleich. Echohülse und Maschinenmuskel. So, und die kommen wir jetzt auch. Ich will sagen. Ja, Maschinenmuskel. Ja, noch ein bisschen mehr ausgegeben als geplant, aber okay, Sprengpassen nehmen wir auch noch ein bisschen mit. Reicht. Ja. Ja, 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 ja. Und hier ist die Kiste. Na bitte. Dankeschön. So viel haben wir hier gar nicht drin. Äh. Gut. Gut. Gehen wir weiter. Der sagt mir zwar, ich muss da den ganzen Weg außen rum, aber wer mich kennt... Machen wir nicht. Ja. Es geht immer schneller. Three leave, only you return? What happened? Cabo was telling the truth. The rebels had a behemoth. Cabo was injured in the battle, but we stopped the attack. Aroke... Regrets that he doubted the boy. Your grandson proved himself to be honest and brave, Chaplain. He's loyal to the lowland. So you'll release him? He's earned his freedom. But it'll take many more deeds to earn back the rest of the clan's trust. I'll do whatever it takes. Thank you, Aloy. Indeed. Falls edge owes you a great debt. Ich habe mein mal ein bisschen kleiner gemacht. May this begin to repay it. Ich glaube nicht, dass die Toilette so wichtig ist. I have so much to show you. Welcome back, Cabo. Neben Quest abgeschlossen. Das liest man gerne.
So, wir sind schon Stufe. Uh, 7.20 Uhr. Ja, machen wir das hier. Und da müssen wir wie weit? Zweiter. Oh, uh, ist aber sehr weit weg. Oh. Uh. Machen wir das? Also wie ich mich kenne, brauche ich für den Reitweg alleine. Ne, ich bleibe ja alle zwei Meter stehen. Nee, das machen wir nicht. Das machen wir nicht. Wie weit ist das hier weg? Hä? Äh? Ist die Aktion und Reaktion. 2150 entfernt. Marsch eines Soldaten. Das ist beides doch. Marsch eines Soldaten ist da oben. Aktion. Ja, okay, die sind beide da oben. Gut, dann hat sich das erledigt. Dann machen wir die Hauptquest weiter. Und das ist natürlich in genau die andere Richtung. Ja. Dann gehen wir zum Lagerfeuer. Ähm, einige Stolperfallen können Schilddrähte abfeuern, um eine, ähm, ein Energieschild zwischen zwei Punkten zu erzeugen. Äh, der Schild blockt alle Geschosse oder Explosionen ab, kann aber keinen physischen Schaden abwehren. Absorbiert der Schild entweder durch dich oder deine Gegner zu viel Schaden, explodiert er. Ähm ich weiß nicht, ob ich das allzu oft benutzen werde, aber ja, gut. Danke. Vielleicht nehme ich mir jetzt einfach mal sowas mit. Ich habe nämlich das Gefühl, die kann ich einfach später benutzen. Ich habe am Anfang gedacht, ich müsste die jetzt hier, wenn ich sie esse. Aber ich glaube, ich kann die einfach... Ähm, ja. Muss ich nur noch wissen, ob das deckt. Ich hoffe mal, das deckt. Konzentrationsregeneration um drei, äh, um drei für drei Minuten. Ähm... Was macht denn das Gewöhnliche hier? Maximale Gesundheit. Pfeilenlimit. Ich arbeite ja gern mit Pfeilen. Und niedrige Gesundheit, Ausdauerregeneration. Oh, also so ein bisschen mochte ich die Einfachheit von dem ersten Teil. Der zweite, der ist ja schon... Der ist Overkill. Da haben sie alles reingebracht, was sie aus jedem anderen, in Anführungsstrichen, RPG kennen. Machen wir hier von zwei mit. So, und jetzt gehen wir zum Lagerfeuer. Das ist... Ah. Und Schnellreise. Oh Gott, oh Gott, oh Gott, oh Gott, oh Gott. So, ich habe das Gefühl, da dürfen wir nämlich wieder ganz nach rechts. wieder da rein. Yeah, like this? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion feet party or something. 
Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Errand, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. So, nicht wundern, zwischen Cutscenes mache ich gerne mal das ganze Overlay aus. Ich dachte, das wäre eine längere Cutscene, war es nicht. Und ganz viel Dialog. Mit Sicherheit. Und zwar richtig viel. Pass auf. Hey. Hey. A nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh... Well, you had your doubts about bringing us along. There's a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. <laughs> That's nothing I can't handle. Right. Yep. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but... By the forge, the things I've been able to see... Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but... I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sunbill. And now I do. Sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful. You know? It takes some time, but yeah. <laughs> I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land, when he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. Oh god, for the Uhrzeit bin ich viel zu müde. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. I better go. Right. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. And next dialogue. Na. Nochmal. Will mit dir reden. Varl looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. Have you gone back to plain song at all? I thought about it, but I wouldn't know what to tell them. The chorus already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. Oh. 
If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be little they could grasp about all this. No. For now, I must leave the tribe behind. What are you up to? Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the old ones. She helped me decipher some of the data you've collected and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but it's been working so far. That's good to hear. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us. So we could regain control of our lands with her terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much metal. You've spoken with Katalo? A few words. Tanakh don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. Oh. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. Past, but reborn? <laughs> Not that I claim to understand how. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. Did Gaia tell you anything about the Zeniths? She did. Though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here. It is... Humbling, to say the least. And heartbreaking. That such life should be bent on destroying ours. <laughs> oh my god. So... How does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakh? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. I believe I've met them already. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. Mm. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms. Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the Fallen. I couldn't have been easy, seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong. Day after day. 
so I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but there weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zo. I made it a point to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned, to demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. Mm -mm. Right, I should probably go. I shall return to our training then. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Hmm? Gosh. Wow, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah, and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. But with the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, we'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Paul. How's, uh, training with Zoe? You know we really are training. Mostly. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory. And All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside. Without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. <laughs> I'm guessing you've spoken with Catalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. <laughs> for a second I thought I was talking to my mother. <laughs> never thought a Tanakh and a Nora warchief could have so much in common. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Erend definitely curses the most. But I'm hoping Osiram's stubbornness prevails. How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, a tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Varl. That one zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. <clears throat> Think you can hold the fort while I'm gone? If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, maybe. We'll be fine. So, here lag eine Kiste. Voilà. Oh. Danke. Holograms. Gaia, I thought you said the data here was lost. I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. No. Danke schön, I guess. Looks like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room, Aloy. I believe they wanted private accommodations. <laughs> I see. Aloy, 
It's good to see you. <clears throat> I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the... vision you keep in this place. Gaia, and gave me this focus. I don't pretend to fully understand everything, but all I really need to know is where to train and when to fight. Welcome to the team, then. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So, I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This Hephaestus, it will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? Yeah, for a thousand years. And that's why we're here. Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you said the bulwark was your home a long time ago. That you were part of the Sky Clan. Yes. That's all you're going to tell me? Fine. As you wish. My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took a special interest in me. I have been a second in Takote for Stan and just on Star Trek Voyager. I led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero, and I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Oh, hey, Pekka! Hi! Hi, thank you! <laughs> thank you so much! Uh, ah. Hey, how are you? What did you play? I saw you online earlier, but I hadn't I have no idea what you were playing. Let me give you a shout out. Wait. Oh god. Sorry doing this on my mobile. <laughs> Here you go. Yes. <laughs> Don't Why say that. So Do not serious? do that. Just because she screamed doesn't mean she doesn't have any noodles. I'm gonna make hot tea. What jelly tonight? Steak. And noodles? Steak! And noodles? No, not anything. Anyway, mom, look at me. You ate it all. You didn't bring me none? Yeah. And I'm here starving. It's rude not, mama. Mama, when Koreans and my child eat, it's rude not to eat everything they taste. <laughs> I don't know you Because I know the Korean culture. Do you? Have you been to Korea? Basically, I'm I have no idea what this game was. And by the way, we are playing Horizon Forbidden West. English voice and as you can see, German text. So I like the English voice over a lot more. So I play with English uh, voice. But for the reading, I, I uh, prefer German because long English text. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the cool route by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. And we are in a part him. where there's a like lot, a, a lot of dialogue, like real fear long eyes. dialogue. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging really? His command uh, did you play the first one? I returned a hero from the battle. Uh, Zero Dawn. But to him, I was only a threat. Never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. And by the way, <laughs> I have a toilet avatar. <laughs> and I love it. 
Oh hell, um, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn is not my favorite game, but one of my favorite games. And this one is like five times uh, the uh, five times as long as uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, and oh my god, it's it's so huge! It's so huge. When we were at the bulwark, the guard said something about the wings of the ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the cool route. Deca too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings and leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. And it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the cool route. Many times I imagined it as a child. The oh, thank freedom. you, Stream Elements. Thank you. And the awe it okay. must have inspired. And by the way, if um, someone else is here from Becker's um, stream, I do German and English streams. My English isn't the best, but I'm trying. I play mostly single player story games like Horizon Zero Dawn, Forbidden West, Witcher 3. I plan to play Uncharted 4 and I also plan piano streams. But I have to buy some things for the setup, like a third monitor, sec microphone, and much more stuff. So this will probably happen like Christmas, early next year, maybe. But I really look forward to my piano streams because I love to play the piano, but I can't play it on stream yet. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Route? Takote knew that if I survived the Cool Route, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command, even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile, guised as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal and never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined so to So much dialogue. 